Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And uh, from our last video, I got a couple requests. I, I know this one this isn't totally focused on RC, but just uh, got a couple requests out there uh, asking for a more, um, a more multifaceted comparison of our uh, new computers here, um, our uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 4. Uh, it's got i7 uh, processors and uh, 200, uh, sorry, uh, 512 gigabyte um, SSD as uh, well as 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, just wanted to do just a, a closer comparison between that and um, our old MacBook Air here. Um, this is actually a pretty, uh, the, the most beefed up version that you can get. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM. Uh, well, I forgot about the processors. I think they were i5 processors. Anyways, um, just wanted to do a a, a um a, a more dimensional uh, comparison here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this here. Uh, so the cool thing about the uh, Surface Pro is that you can uh, it actually doesn't come with the keyboard. You have to buy this separate. But you can pop off the keyboard uh, slash cover here, right? and uh, it can serve as a standalone tablet. So this is pretty small and light here. It's got a magnesium case, actually, uh, but uh, you still retain the goodies here. Uh, you can put in a, a micro um, or an SD and micro SD card here. Uh, you got the USB 3.0 connector as well as the um, uh, the mini display port connector on that side. You got a headphone jack on this side. Uh, but very, uh, very low profile. Um, you've got uh, the power and volume buttons here, just like on an iPad, the camera, front-facing camera here, uh, as well as a rear-facing camera on the back here. So uh, pretty good design. I've, I've been, um, been pretty pleased with it so far. Um, I haven't uh, found any complaints. The uh, I'm going to go ahead and just snap the charger back on here, or, or rather the, um, the case. Uh, cover slash keyboard. Uh, the charger here, this is pr proprietary to uh, to the Surface Pro, so you you know you've got to buy it specifically from Microsoft. It's got this uh, special connector here, um, nice and small, right? Uh, you, you've got an extra USB charger on the um, uh, on this char or USB port on the charger itself here. Uh, nice thing about this charging connector is that it is magnetic, so it um, it'll just uh, you know it'll just pop right in there uh, and actually pull itself in via the magnets, and you can you can uh, you know it's it's bidirectional. You can flop it uh, either way, flip it or flop it either way. Here, uh, the lights go on just to to indicate that it's charging. Um, you know, very similar. Uh, actually, the charger is very similar to the 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 Apple chargers of yore. And if you guys remember from the previous episode, I was debating on whether to go with a MacBook Pro 13 inch, the new one, the the 2016 released one, um, or go with the Surface Pro here. And um, I I don't have a MacBook 13 with me right now, but just wanted to do um, a size comparison of these two, right? So you can see that the the um, First Surface Book Pro is uh, smaller in in um, overall dimensions. Uh, it is a little bit thicker when you include the case. Uh, again, not a huge deal, uh, but very very portable computers. Both of these, right? Um, you know, one of the reasons I I didn't go with the MacBook Pro was uh, because it um, it has USB C ports. Now this one still has a three three ports here. Uh, but I also miss the fact that uh, because of that, that the new MacBooks don't have the the MagSafe charger here. So um, you know this this uh, is like the Surface Pro's charger in that it's magnetic. Um, and uh, you know one of the safety features here is that if somebody trips over the cord or whatnot, the charger will pull out, and you you know it it won't take down the whole computer with it. And actually, I've already had that happen. With uh, my Surface Pro, uh, meaning the um, the magnetic charger here was in, and uh, somebody tripped over my cord, and fortunately it didn't bring down the whole computer with it. So 
Uh, that is a feature that, that will be missed. Uh, actually, one of my friends had mentioned that when I had posted onto Facebook asking for opinions on which, uh, you know, which computer I should go with. And, um, you know, one of my friends mentioned uh, the, that the USB-C uh, doesn't have that mag safe or, you know, that, that capability to, to detach safely without bringing down the whole computer with it. So anyways, just, just wanted to give you guys another, another view here. You know, my computer is quite important to me. I uh, spent a lot of time out of the day on it. And so just wanted to give you guys another view. Let me know if you guys like these videos or not, uh, if they're helpful, useful, or entertaining. Um, you know, and we'll, we'll do more of these if you guys like these kind of technical equipment reviews and, um, you know, just what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So anyways, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.